Hey there, guys. What is going on? Sloppy here playing some more Creativerse on the Creatinators server. I am um, having some trouble <laughs> running Creativerse today. I've already crashed once. I don't know what's going on. I just wanted to take a look around spawn. It looks so much better than it did before. I do want to work on this area some more, but I also want to give a little bit of space. You know, I feel like if I come back to it after a few weeks and I still like it, then I know I've done well. If I don't like it, then we can... Uh, you know, analyze it as it were. I think there's some spots that need, uh, you know, some some redoing and, and whatnot. But I think for the most part, Spawn looks a lot better than it did. I especially love this little lake. I think it's really nice. It needs, like, something, though. Maybe, like, I might do some sand around this side just to add sort of a fresh color. Have a little bit of a sand part. I think would be cool. Uh, but anyway, this uh, area looks really good. I'm really happy with it. If you go back... Before we started to spruce it up, hello, somebody somebody built a magnificent tree. I I actually didn't see that. Uh, I just walked around spawn and I did not notice that. Um, I think, you know, though, if you go back a few episodes, there was none of this here. And, like, the landscape was a little bit different. It looks so much better now. Anyway, somebody's built, like, a weepwood tree. That looks so good there. Like, dangling over the... I mean, I assume it was Tasha. This has sort of all been her over here. Even filling in the lake. She built a dome. I mean, I dug a little bit. But this has mostly been her on this side. And that looks so good. I wonder if somebody just took a blueprint of a weepwood tree. It looks phenomenal, though. This is what I'm talking... I wish we could grow big trees. I've been growing these small ones. I wish you could grow the big ones. That looks so good. Like, hanging over this little area. Wowzers. I'm assuming it was Tashlin, and just like everything else she does, it is perfect. It's amazing. Um, anyway, I just wanted to hang out in this area for a bit. I am heading over to... Oh, that's to the trade station. That's a little subway station. I am heading over to the area we've been working on the past two episodes, which is my new storage room, because I want to finish one half of that today, hopefully. My frames are terrible right now, so I apologize for that. Hopefully they're better away from spawn. Um... So I will meet you guys over there. Well, actually, you know what? Let's let's check out one of these new loading screens real fast. I know we already have. Is there any ones I haven't seen? No. I think I've seen all ten now. Anyway, I'll meet you guys over there. All right, so we were over here at this area. This is my new base area. This is the teleporter room. And uh, if you guys are new to this area, I would just give it a little background. This is what I've been working on most recently, is this room here, which is going to be uh, sort of for... Um, the processing and furni area, and then the storage storage room will be in a little bit of a different spectrum. Anyway, this uh, room has been transformed a lot. This uh, Basically, none of this was here. It's all been dug out. The mountain's been a little bit reshaped around this, and I think it looks really good. I did make a decision last time to change out this wood here for stone, and then put wood along the edges, just because I think it'll look super better. Um, yeah. Anyway, so I'm just going to get started. I was thinking about one thing. These Arkstone chests are actually quite expensive. So I was thinking about maybe trying to go with uh, these guys. It keeps with the medieval vibe. They're a little smaller. Uh, they hold 32 as opposed to 40. But one thing that's nice about them is that they're cheap, I suppose, is the only real benefit to them. Um, I also just I don't think I'll need that much storage that it would be worth going and getting all the arc stones so something like uh, stone here I'll use a grand architect chest but you know there's a lot of stuff like stone rods stone slabs really all the stone products I don't really need a full architect chest for um, so I think the medieval chest will actually be more than big enough for most of this stuff and then maybe we can use some of the grand architect for maybe some of the things that require a little bit bigger of an inventory but I think overall, the medieval will actually work out fine. I was mostly curious about how they look. Uh, we can also put them like that might be kind of cool. I don't know. I don't know. How do they look sort of? Mm, they look okay. And then there's going to be the arc sign thing in front of them, which we will play with in just a second. Uh, by just a second, I mean later in this episode. Either way, I think I want to get the floor done uh, first. Um, and then perhaps this wall. This wall, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with yet, but this wall, we're going to go with the mountain side, blend it right in. This side, we might do something a little bit different. Either way, I love peak stone. That's part of the reason I wanted to build in the mountain, is that I really love peak stone and the vibe of it. 
which is why I'm sort of trying to incorporate it into all these builds. I sort of wanted each section to be very different. And, you know, this is medieval. That was sort of this icy biome. But I kind of want the peak stone to be through all of them. So you know you're in a mountain, but also it's just a gorgeous block. I love it. I love the color of it. Texture is okay, but I just love the color of it and the way it looks. Anyway, I'm just going to uh, change out the floor now. Floor is done. Cool, right? I kind of like it. I went, uh, I decided to do sort of a, a wood pathway. It was a lot smoother, and then when I did the stone middle, I still kind of wanted some sort of outline, so I used the other decorative wood floor. Uh, what is this one called? Decorative wood wall. I used the decorative wood floor um, I sort of to outline the center point. And then I was trying to look for a block between them. I tried the stone slabs, just wasn't a texture I liked. So I went with the stacked stone wall, and I just filled in all the gaps with that, and I think it looks really cool. We got, you know, very defined pathways. I really like it, and it's sort of dark and sort of like I don't know what to call the lighting it's dark it's sort of creepy we don't get spawns because it's all man-made blocks I really like it it's sort of dark but you can see what you're doing I think it's fantastic I really like it so we're gonna roll with this floor so now it's uh time to finish up this wall I think is next and then maybe we'll handle some of the chest stuff but I would like to get the walls finished up at least this side I don't know what I'm going to do with this side quite yet, but definitely get the walls finished up, and um, yeah, I really like this floor. I really like the direction of this room right now, so I'm excited. I'm excited to get going, so let's just uh, finish this part of this wall just to get uh, sort of one side done, and actually, you know what? We can finish the roof right up to the beam. We're just going to continue this right across. So, yeah, I might need to go get even more um, <laughs> peak stone, which is crazy, but... Gotta do what you gotta do. One side of the room done. It looks pretty good. I think we could sprinkle in a few more of the medieval blocks. But it looks pretty good, I think. Um, had to go get a bunch more peak stone, but I think it looks really nice, actually. So now it's just a matter of doing this side. Um, it's just, it's a, it's kind of a pain in the rump to do, but <sighs> the things we do for a nice looking room. Anywho, I guess I'll just get to work on this side. Ugh, I, I really love the floor and the lighting. I will say that much. Really love it. I do kind of want to get the pathway um, a little bit nicer up on the top as well. Sort of plan that out a little bit. I'm also not sure what I'm going to do with the center strip. But we'll, we'll figure that out after. Uh, for now, I do want to just um, get this other wall done. Done and dusted, as they say. Bum, 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 ba. I don't know if it's a dramatic reveal, because it, it looks pretty similar, but, uh, yeah, we got, uh, stone all around, huh? I started mixing in random bits, uh, sort of over here. I think I might just do that all the way around, just mix in random bits of wall. And I don't really know how it would have ended up like that, but I think it's just, like, kind of a cool, maybe just, like, little gaps like this, to almost make it look like maybe there was parts that we had to fill in, because it was... You know, the building was weird or something. Does that look okay? Yeah. Or the mountain kind of, like, came through. or I, I don't know why there would be random pieces like this, but I'm sure somebody could think of a reason that's not uh, terrible. Let's see. Yeah, something like that, I think, would bring a little bit more of that medieval vibe. I really like that, actually. That's cool. Uh, this all took a really long time. I actually don't have that much time left to record this episode. Because uh, removing blocks and placing new ones can take quite a bit of time. So I think what I want to do is actually now get a little bit organized. Um, and sort of figure out what I want in each of these chests. Uh, so first things first, I'm going to make a ton of these medieval chests. And just sort of put them in their place. And see if I like them. Um, yeah, I think that's my next step here. Maybe throw in some more of the, uh, the random medieval blocks here and there. But uh, I'm quite happy with the shape and sort of the look of this whole place. It's kind of a, it almost feels like a castle basement, you know? It's like kind of the castle would be built on top of this. This is just kind of a, a basement, which is kind of a cool vibe. I like the darkness of it. It's not really like anything I've built before. It's, uh, it's a bit different. Let me go sleep real fast because uh, <laughs> I'm just noticing these guys walking around my place, doing their thing. I got to find a more convenient place to put my bed, but... Uh, 
I mean, this one's got such a good view. Check this out. Isn't that fantastic? Great view. That's where my storage room is, by the way. It's like right there. Then there's going to be the bigger storage room in that side of the mountain. Kind of cool. Anyway, I'm going to do some chests. Oh, right. Here we go. Um, sort of. This is uh, what the arc sign may or may not look like. That looks kind of weird. I uh, went over to Sidon's place and just sort of stole his uh, thing. These obviously aren't the right icons, but spacing is a little awkward. The spacing is a little awkward, which makes me also think we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wide by five tall. We may not need all of that space. We definitely don't need all that space. That would be, what, 35 by 35 chests? 70 chests. We don't need all that for processing. So I'm thinking we might um, put some sort of column here and put, you know, put, like, the strip uh, where the arc sign is, like, next to it. I don't know. This looks kind of weird. Actually, it looks better sort of the farther away from you get it. Um, anyway, that's where I'm going to end today because I am out of time to record. This actually took just a really long time. Placing this amount of blocks, uh, the floor and everything, it just all really adds up. But I think the room is looking really good. I really like the vibe of it. We're going to go very different with the other side of the storage room. I will say that now because I feel like if I did this again, it would be kind of overdone. I think this is good for one room. I think the next room, we're going to go medieval again, perhaps. Probably medieval again, but make it sort of all medieval. Instead of a basement, it'll be sort of what the upstairs would be. I think it could be a cool vibe for the next room over. But let me know what you think of the arc signs. I think in the next video, we're just going to finish this room completely. We've got a little strip of roof left. We've got putting in the arc chests and doing the signs, um, which could actually be kind of... Uh, I think it'll just be busy work. Kind of annoying, but I don't think we need 70 chests on each side. So we might uh, maybe do some columns and, and I don't know. We'll, we'll sort that out next time because I am uh, dangerously close to not being able to get this video out. Anyway, let me know what you think in those comments down below. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed and uh, subscribe for more Creativerse. All that jazz. I will see you guys in the next one. A ciao.